Hi, I'm Ron Falk, home builder and finished carpenter, and this is a tour of my tool trailer and my portable wood shop. I prefer a trailer over a van or a pickup truck with a canopy. I'm able to haul more tools so that I, when I get to a job I don't discover that um, I've left the tool that I need. It also keeps my pickup truck empty so that I can haul materials or make a dump run. The uh, cost of a trailer is fairly reasonable. The insurance is not required because it's extended from the tow vehicle. The tabs on a trailer are fairly inexpensive and there's very little maintenance. A half ton pickup will easily uh, move around a trailer of this size not requiring you to have a heavier duty um, three quarter ton or one ton vehicle. After I um, drop down the ramp door I plug the trailer in uh, I have a, an extension cord on a hose reel. This supplies um, power for the trailer. It uh, will go through the floor along with the air hose reel so that at the end of the day I can leave them rolled out and not have to uh, roll them back in just to lock the trailer. I have an 8 foot garage for my workbench and my miter stand so that I can quickly pull them out first and set them up. When I uh, created the garage for the workbenches I lost a lot of cabinet space so I created a little four inch deep shelf to hold these butaners which uh, hold a lot of uh, miscellaneous supplies, biscuits and dominoes and screws and nails and some electrical parts and things. And then the below that I have a little bit deeper section that holds uh, some pull out bins. Using all the space available to me I have a five foot pull out that holds uh, long clamps the other side I have my tracks, long levels, uh, the gill lift mast and the laser jam and then also tucked in the corner are some demo bars. Above the garage for the workbenches I store my larger tools for easy access. An empty bag just to uh, collect up tools I'll need for the particular project. My miter saw, table saw, the Craig Foreman, and the DeWalt 13-inch uh, planer. Next I have a full height cabinet with some tool storage and then a uh, cubby for my Blum mini press for 32 millimeter cabinet construction including uh, seven hole line boring and boring the uh, cabinet doors for the um, uh, hinges. Below that I have uh, some nail storage and then my air compressor uh, stays in this cubby all the time. There's power there. It's plumbed through the floor for draining the tanks. And I have an air hose run back to the uh, main uh, hose reel uh, to supply um, air to the job without having to uh, pull the compressor out and find a place to plug it in. The next cabinet, uh, my sawhorses are stored there as well as a dolly for the gill lift for uh, cabinet install, air hoses, extension cords, drop cloths. And in the area on top of both cabinets I store uh, some long uh, tools in the back and then my vacuum hoses. And in the back the uh, tall niche is where I store a couple of four foot uh, tripod ladders, carpenter squares, uh, nail bags, nail vest, and then uh, in the very back some tall tools. On the uh, tall niche on the opposite side is where I store my brooms, dustpans, and also the uh, floor wands for the vacuum cleaner. Then I have a couple of my, my vacuum cleaners, accessories for the vacuums, and then a bin for storing rags, and uh, miscellaneous uh, materials. Then above the cabinets I have little niches for uh, power tools, uh, 10 inch skill saw, large rota hammer, grinder, biscuit joiner, angled uh, drill, hacksaw, skill, um, sawzall, and then a long nose stand up screw. Below that some uh, framing guns, another bin of framing guns, festool, track saw. Then moving down I have some adjustable bins for uh, more hand tools, multiple skill saws, battery skill saw, the Senko fusion gun that I use for hanging doors. Uh, it's convenient not having to use a, an air hose. Then a variety of finish uh, nailers and staplers and um, pinners. 
and wire guns. Then uh, more drills, a whole hog, and then a more angle drill. Uh, the empty space there is where batteries go that need to be charged, and then batteries that are charged and ready to go. Below that I have all of my battery chargers plugged in so I can charge as many batteries as I need to at uh, one time. I have three 42 inch boxes that provide me 39 drawers that are all labeled for easy quick access to tools and tool accessories. Too many drawers to go through so I'll just highlight a few. This top first drawer is all of my measuring tools, finished nails of all varieties, some clamps, sandpaper, more clamps, and then the spring miter clamps. Those are come in really handy. Then my um, drill drawer, I keep all of my drill bits in uh, butaners, as well as uh, bits and um, accessories for the screw guns. More drill bits, the long ones. I keep all of my Festool accessories in a drawer. I find they're easier to figure out what I need and easier to access than having to go through individual boxes. Plus if I tried storing all this many tools in separate boxes, uh, I could never get as many tools in this trailer. Find multi-master and jigsaws, just more power tools. Routers and the domino, ram set then uh, some router bits, saw blades, have an empty drawer for uh, putting in dull blades, those are all sharp, more blades, multi-master blades, jigsaw blades and grinder blades, then some cabinet tools for 32 millimeter cabinet construction, and then uh, various sanders. This trailer is about 11 years old. Uh, it's been uh, refit about three times. So far, this is the best one. It gets better each time. I hope the tour was informative and maybe give you some ideas on your own tool organization.